goodness, that sounded nice. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to Color Couple. This is Mr. K and today we're going to be discussing the Yoshimura Alpha on the Ninja 650. Alright boys and girls, so ever since I did the little unveiling video of the you know, Yoshimura and I, the reaction video to the Yoshimura uh, by Mrs. K, I've gotten quite a few uh, messages, well, on quite a few different places. I got it from, uh, well, Instagram, YouTube, <laughs> comments and even uh, well email and you guys all seem to be pretty happy with the fact that I got this particular um, exhaust but you guys have also asked me why this one why I don't you know why did it didn't go for two brothers why I didn't go for one of those well um, I didn't want to go for any of those because frankly this is the one that I, I really really wanted and it's the one that I feel looks the best on this bike and sounds the best now I did not honestly expect it to be as loud as she was um, as she is I should say Ooh. then we have to be careful <gasps> oh cool <laughs> oh my goodness that sound so it just sounds the best I think out of all the ones uh, to me it made the most sense and so I figured this would be a good option for me and that's why I went for this now the wonderful guys over at uh, Burnaby Kawasaki they're also really really awesome people guys and so they were able to uh, just kind of give me a little hinters and you know little tips on doing this so then obviously the question came up, am I going to change my air filter, do a power commander on it, and so forth and so on. And right now I'm going to say no, I'm not going to do it on a, maybe later on, right this moment, I'm actually quite just enjoying the exhaust the way she is. There's just something about the way that she sounds that really, really, I don't know, it, it's just, it has the sound that I really like. It's deep, but it's not obnoxious. Now, I did see the videos, both videos, um, I have to admit that the sound does not quite, quite come through. I mean, I, I have not picked it up on the microphone well enough to actually say, you know, wow, uh, that's really what it sounds like. It, you know, but I, I've, <laughs> this is apparently nothing new. I know Snowcat had the same thing where he was talking about his exhaust and he kept bringing up the same thing. What you guys are hearing is nothing what it is. The truth is this thing is loud. Uh, and to a degree, I, you know, I, I made it clear on those videos, I did not want to have an obnoxious exhaust, but I did want to have, a, you know, an exhaust that is, uh, that can be heard. Well, uh, I get the feeling this definitely can be heard. It's not an issue with being heard. It's an issue of, it's got the silencer in. There's nothing else more I could do to quiet it down a little bit and not that i'd want to either i'm quite happy with uh i think it's just enough you know any more would be really bad but i think it's just on the borderline of just right to obnoxious so although it sounds great you know like i said it that the borderline kind of gave me a little bit of a iffy feeling to start with but uh, yeah it's growing on me in fact i'm loving it more and more now so going back to why Yoshimura, well Yoshimura has a great name and I believe Yoshimura is also one of the few that actually tests um, and I could be corrected, you know, you guys tell me if I'm wrong here but from my research I believe Yoshimura is uh, one of the few that actually does testing for uh, uh, legality like you know in terms of the legal decimals and so forth and so on. I'm not quite sure how that works because I'm sh pretty sure if a cop pulls me over and they do a decimal test on my uh, bike right now. I highly doubt I will pass it but then again it's not I don't know I don't know exactly so that had a little bit to do with my uh, with my decision overall it was just something that I really like guys it's that look there's a specific look that I wanted for this bike and out of all the I'm gonna close this out of all the exhausts I've seen and all the photos I've seen and trust me I did my research I just think the Yoshimura Alpha, the carbon fiber, looked the best. It really did. For this bike, it just looked the best. And, you know, some people don't like it, and that's fine. That's absolutely fine. You all have the right to your own, your own uh, opinions. 
uh, the important thing is for me to love it because it's my bike it's my money it's <laughs> my effort I'm putting into all of these kind of things and that's the point here you know it's I have to like it so I'm going right now to a little place that I've to a little place where I really can give this uh, exhaust a test there's this little tunnel and those of you guys who've been with me long enough uh, with the channel you guys I think get an idea of where I'm going you guys I, I think you guys have an idea but um, there's this little tunnel that I really like uh, going to uh, just kind of messing around I remember I took my Ninja 300 when I put the Yoshimura on the 300 I went there and it sounded pretty cool so I was quite happy with uh, testing the using that little tunnel as a testing ground so that's where I'm gonna be going right now other than that it's it's cold man it's uh, four or five degrees outside and I'll tell you guys I'm uh, I'm not exactly the warmest right now but the odd thing is like my it's it's my um, <laughs> my feet well not my feet but my foot in general is I feel the cold more than my upper body or because these gloves I don't know what it is but they're summer gloves but they are nice and warm so I'm not complaining about the gloves and as you guys all know uh, you know winter is not the best time to do uh, riding oh my goodness this is ugly holy this is ugly like wet and ugly I kind of had a feeling it would be though so <laughs> what a nice puppy <laughs> I like puppies so yeah I'm gonna keep the RPMs really low <laughs> make sure I don't make any crazy sounds here oh that is so beautiful alrighty then Ooh, there's my little tunnel <laughs> and I'm gonna leave my visor open for this one because I really want to hear this uh, and I'm gonna try and use the sound from different sources just to kind of give you guys the best uh, example of this <laughs> here we go Goodness, that sounded nice. <laughs> oh, okay, that was nice. That was a very nice sound. That was a lot nicer. A lot nicer than I thought it would be. Oh, and some of you guys have asked me about, uh, well, that the, they keep seeing a flash, a light. Well, that's this one right here. Okay, that is the shift indicator. They apparently have it for this bike for some reason. So, <laughs> I love the popping sound. <laughs> oh God, that backfire. That just sounds beautiful. Yeah, I hope that answers some of your questions, guys. Uh, you know, I chose this because it was a personal choice. It's not that I couldn't have gone with someone else. It's because I really, really wanted this exhaust. Uh, it just made the most sense to me. And, and really, honestly, that's what it comes down to. So I'm not gonna, you know, give another, like I, I'm not trying to give excuses because frankly, it's, again, it's my thing. <laughs> but uh, that's why, and that's, I, those questions, I was shocked at how many people came in with the same question. Why, why the Yoshimura? What was it about the Yoshimura that you wanted and, or that you liked? it's the look it's the sound that's what i really really uh attracted me to it but guys i really hope you guys uh i hope that answers some of your questions and yeah if you have any more questions leave me a comment below and uh, i'll try and answer them uh but yeah basically i chose it because i wanted it i loved it i was willing to pay for it and that's what it is but guys I hope the 2018 will be an amazing year for all of you guys. And with that said, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. We love you. As always, you guys are the best. See ya and goodbye. <laughs> uh, that's nice. And you wonder why I bought it.